In this video, I'll introduce a new and exciting display technology called the in-plane holographic or IPHOE display. It's called an in-plane display because the image is projected in the plane of the window and not out in space like the virtual image of a head-up display. The in-plane holographic display uses a small DLP projector to illuminate a holographic film laminated in the windscreen of the vehicle. The holographic film acts as a reflective diffuser, diffracting the light rays from the projector into the eye box. Holographic films appear transparent because they diffract light at very specific wavelengths and illumination angles. If the incident light does not meet the angular or wavelength requirements of the hologram, it is simply passed through unaltered. For windshield applications, the main advantage of an IPHOE display is the relatively small packaging space required to support a large field of view. Traditional head-up displays require significant space to support large displays, and the majority of vehicles simply don't have that space available to support a large display. The disadvantage of an in-plane display is a short image distance, resulting in increased accommodation time. Accommodation time is the time it takes for the eyes to refocus when changing from one object to another. The shorter the distance from the eyes to the display, the longer it takes to change focus between the road scene and the display. When compared to a head-up display, accommodation performance is worse, but when compared to a traditional look-down cluster or infotainment display, performance is better since the display is in the direct line of sight of the driver. Target applications for the in-plane holographic window display include cluster, infotainment, and navigation displays, as well as interior passenger and exterior facing transparent window displays. Thanks for watching this video, and for more information, please see the link below.